Hey guys, so in this video, we're doing something a bit different than what I usually do on the channel. Uh, today we're detailing my mother's car, and uh, it's Josh is doing that with me, so basically, I don't usually do this type of video, and sorry about the bad camera angles and everything, but yeah. So I want to make this clear, we are by no means professional detailers, So, but here we're just um, we're putting soap on the car with the foam cannon and we are washing the car. So as you can see here, Josh is applying some Chemical Guys Diablo wheel and tire cleaner while I am finishing rinsing off the rest of the vehicle. And then in this shot, you can see I'm using some Armor All tire foam just to see what it can do, see if it'll shine the tires up a bit. As you can see in this shot, there are some scratches on the car. Or maybe it's paint rub up, I'm not sure. I was trying to get that stuff off and the paint was a little bit gritty on the driver door. And then right here we're applying rain -X to all the windows. And now we're moving to the floor mats. As you can see, Josh is now pressure washing the rubber floor mats that were in the vehicle and then he's using just some random household cleaner that I had around the house and spraying it down and then agitating with the brush and then pressure washing them and as you can see I have the carpeted floor mats and I'm vacuuming them in the shot. Now Josh is vacuuming the inside of the car, he's vacuuming the carpets and the seats. And then a little later you will see us take out the driver's seat, but we decided not to take out the passenger seat because we had a limited amount of time. In fact, I ended up having to finish the detail myself because he had to leave and go back home. So yeah, basically, and then we're trying to remove the seats now and it was just too difficult and took too much time. Now we're going to be starting to extract the formats. I'm using a Bissell Little Green Professional and I'm just using a Bissell Carpet Solution. Yeah, I know. I think I should probably move the camera so they can see this part, the clear part. Here, going all the way on the other side. Yeah, then these carpets are really good. So, is it actually recording? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a red light. 
okay. Didn't know there was a red light in the front of it. I also don't pay attention to Yes, I can tell that from school. Looks like wet dog. <laughs> Like, look at that. It just looks like a wet looks dog. Like wet dog here. Yeah. This is a really stiff brush here. This one's stiff ish. Yeah. It's not like too bad, but it's not like yeah. too good either. Alright, I'll start. There you go. dirt out of that. That format. I'll go ahead and by the way we're using a Bissell Little Green Pro. Yeah carpet cleaner Bissell Little Green Pro. Um, first time using it. So far it's pretty good. I'm doing the second one now. I gotta put more water. All right, so we didn't film as much as I wish we would have, but here's the kind of the finished product. It has been a while, and Josh left an hour ago, so it's not perfect because we don't have all the products we need to do a full detail. But I was uh, working on cleaning out the spare tire well, and um, I cleaned the spare tire as well. So that's right here, drying in the sun. Reminds me, I'm gonna flip this over so the other side can dry. But, um, then I'll quickly go over the products we have. So, I was just cleaning out the trunk. So, it turned out pretty good. The seats definitely look much better. And it's definitely smells good in here. Um, I'm waiting to put the floor mats back in because I just had to pressure wash one of the back in the driver's side front floor mats. I got the driver's seat back in. We didn't take the passenger out because it took too much time and we wouldn't have had enough time. Um, although it is only four bolts, the wiring harnesses took us forever and we just didn't want to go through the pain, which I, or not the pain, the hassle. Um, as you can see, I still have to. I still have stuff in here, but carpets are clean. Used some uh, shine stuff, I guess. Um, chemical guys, silk shine. We applied rain X to all the windows. And sorry if the camera angles weren't the best, but we were kind of more concentrating on the car than the camera angles. But 
I'll go over some of the equipment I have now. Here's my pressure washer. It's a Stanley 1500 PSI electric pressure washer. It's a nice pressure washer. It's not the greatest because it doesn't have the best pressure, but oh, great. I hope that's not my brother. Then just FYI um, for the seats, I was using an air ratchet. I was using a Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic 125 PSI 8 gallon compressor. And um, for the camera, it's a GoPro Hero 7 white, by the way. So for the products, uh, here for the wheel and, wheels and tires, I use this Chemical Guys Diablo Wheel Cleaner and also some Chemical Guys Mr. Pink Car Soap. I have some just some regular wash mitts there. I have these tire brushes, which this one is stiffer bristle. This one's a very soft bristle, which I gotta clean that. And um, the carpet cleaning solution is just Bissell carpet cleaning solution. Um, I think it's like fresh linen scent or something, very basic. Which also, I gotta clean that up. The so speaker grates, I guess, from being in the sun, they got real brittle and just broke. But um, it's a Bissell for our extractor. It's a Bissell Little Green Pro, which we just got it. That was my first time using it. So far, so good. And also, I just I tried out some of this Armor All Tire Foam. Stuff worked good. Um, where did I put that? Here it is. So here, this is my vacuum cleaner. It's just a little two and a half horsepower, two and a half gallon um, little shop vac. It's a nice little shop vac. And also, here's my golf cart. Quick update. Um, the engine is tore apart right now. I know there's no videos on the channel of it, but um, it it's the engine's kind of tore apart. There's the Conrad, which the Conrad was rusted to the crankshaft, but the uh, the bearing there that's good. I had to I had to get that unstuck. Uh, here's the the cylinder. Cylinder walls look clean, and uh, I need to get new rings. One of the rings is broken right there. And also there's chunks missing out of the piston. 